What's going on guys? Toppy Tree here and welcome to the Doctor Show. Today I'll be showing you the brand new Easter eggs on Shadows of Evil and how you can complete them for yourself. Let's get straight on into this one. The first Easter egg is a cheeky little Mob of the Dead reference. Come up to the laundry window right next to Spawn and you can see a piece of paper stuck to some clothes. Cook a grenade and chuck it at the paper, making sure it explodes right next to it. This can be a little difficult, but once done correctly, the paper will land on a box and can be picked up, giving you 500 points. The paper is actually a washing order from Sal DeLuca, one of the playable characters in Mob of the Dead. This is an easy easter egg to do and can help you get a little extra points for those early rounds. The second easter egg lets you get a free Mega Gobblegum. What you want to do is head up to this little room at the canals with the four lion heads. Make sure you have Widow's Wine and a full set of grenades. Chuck a Widow's Wine grenade in each of the lion heads. When done correctly, this will spawn a small, plain gobblegum in one of the mouths. This can be done for all four players. Pick up the gobblegum and bring it to the center of the map, to the right of stamina. There is a candy shop with an empty plate in the display window. Hold square on the window and we will place the gobblegum on the plate. Come back in about a round and it will have grown into a full mega gobblegum. You can now pick it up the same as from the machine. You can see here I got Respin Cycle, and in a different game I got Pop Shocks. You can get anything, so if you get Perkaholic, you're going to be having a bloody good day. The third easter egg involves upgrading the zombie shield. To do this, you have to kill 10 zombies with one shield boost, 12 times in a row. You will hear a bowling noise if you correctly kill 10 at once. The idea is to get a perfect game, just like in 10 pin bowling, so if you do not kill 10 zombies with a single boost while attempting this easter egg, you will have to restart and go for 12 in a row again. You will know you have upgraded the shield when you hear celebration noises on the 12th boost. The upgraded shield comes with 4 boosts instead of the usual 3 and is significantly stronger and more powerful. It also has a wonder wolf slash dead wire like effect to its melee. Once the upgraded shield is broken however, you can only pick up a regular shield making the upgrade almost pointless so I wouldn't recommend doing this easter egg. The fourth easter egg is the upgraded donut trip mines. You obviously need the trip mines for this easter egg and they are found on the side of the gym at the docks. To upgrade them, you will need to get a kill in front of three donut carts spread across the map. The first cart is near the ruby rabbit at the canals. The second cart is found in the middle of the map near stamina. The third and final cart is near the footlight district near a perk machine. You know the easter egg has been completed if you see a purple explosion. After these steps you can see a donut underneath the trip mine whenever you place it. It will now explode in a more powerful shower of donuts. The final easter egg is the upgraded little arnies. You will need to get little arnies from the box and get 100 kills with the arnies before you can do the first step. You can use your scoreboard to easily figure out how many kills you have got so far. Once you have 100 kills, head over to Neuro's Ritual Room and you will see three mannequin heads with a top hat on one of them. Throw a little arnies and it will disappear. After this, go to the boxing ring and you can see a bow tie resting on a rack. Throw a little arnies to suck it up. The last piece is found inside the ruby rabbit resting on a couch. Throw another little arnie to collect the cane. Once all these pieces have been collected, you can go to the burlesque house to watch little Arnie song and dance and receive the upgraded Arnie's. Sorry, uh, no way I can make you reappear. That's good night, Vienna. The upgraded Arnie's will have a purple glow instead of the usual yellow and are much, much more powerful. They also seem to have an increased chance of drops as well, so they're incredibly useful. Well, that sums up all the new Easter eggs on Shadows of Evil so far. No news yet on the upgraded Wonder Weapon, but stay tuned. Leave a like if you found this video useful and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.